yeah, that's purely water. That's a purely water based extraction right there of the love bush or the leaf of life, whichever you prefer. Right. So I just want to show you that. And we also have this right here going on. This is another tonic, another mineral tonic, right, with the mineral water. Um, I just put it in a spring water jug, but that's all mineral water. That's all. That's that's straight goldenrod and mineral water. So that's that's another one right there, another mineral tonic that I got going. Um, and then let me see. Here's my last tincture right here. This is my yellow dock tincture. Um, yellow dock, yellow dock seed, and a little bit of thistle flower at the very top of that one. And then last but not least, this is what I'm currently working on. Um, when you mentioned the fermentation, that was really up my alley as far as um, what I'm working on with this right here. Um, this is walnut, right? Black walnut and chaga. I want to do chaga fermentation. I've heard something about chaga fermentation. It's been on my mind for a long time. As a matter of fact, I just received some chaga in the mail. It wasn't a whole lot. But she sent me a little bit of chaga. Um, I'm working on finding a supplier of the chaga mushroom or a, or a good foraging spot for it. I currently have not located a spot in regards to that. We're we working on it though. I think it's chaga right here. Yeah, chaga. Boom. Okay. So here go the chaga mushroom right here. You feel me that I just got in the mail a couple days ago. So I'm using light. I'm using light, I'm utilizing the chaga mushroom to to do a uh, fermentation. You know what I'm saying? So um that right there, it's been sitting there for a couple days now. It already started to bubble over. I had to take the lid off of it and go ahead and encapsulate.